uh, you know, even at this point in your career, having you know lots of, I, I imagine lots of time and leisure to to create an album. It's, it sounds like you put them together still very fairly quickly and sort of playfully, right? You're, you're not obsessing over them for years assembling this thing. Uh-huh. About two days. And yeah. I mean, the thing is that for me, um, I just I'm just concerned with just having some good idea that will just set up the world of the possibilities of what you do. You know, if that idea is quite good, it makes all of the rest of the work, actually writing of stuff, much, much simpler. Mm. If it's, if you, you haven't really got anything, everything becomes much, much more difficult. Okay. Um, so for me, almost all of this music, which is in fact free, it was originally about three times the length of the album, was done in two weeks, okay. less maybe. Because I like the idea and everything worked quickly. After that, it's just a, the question of putting it down, you know. And, that's and that took nine months. Yeah, that took, yeah. That took well, that's eight and a half months. That takes the, <laughs> the obsessive work to get that. Yeah. But, you know, it's, 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 it's fun. I mean, I like the activity of, of doing music. I mean, this is what kind of informs me. You know, when I hear records back or something, I'm just thinking of what the, the processes that we made, uh, that we did to make it, you know. Mm. So for me, this is the, the absolutely the most exciting thing about music is those really an early, initial, little blurry ideas that are coming in focus. Everything else is all like playing live is great. It's totally different, but this it all comes second to this original thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. For um, me, for me. Yeah, as I was about to say, how about for, how about for you? I mean, you're. Uh... Well, for me, it's an entirely different process mm. than it is. To t- for Tim, yeah. who who writes, who ingests the ideas, and you know, I just have a, I just may collect a bunch of ideas, lyrically, and then I wait for the tunes to to arrive on, in a, in a wheelbarrow, and and there they are, and um, I knock some lyrics onto onto those melodies, and then I go into the studio and sing them. Meanwhile. All the music gets done without my participation. Um, I mean, your lyrics have traditionally, I feel like they've always been things, um, you know, ideas that have been borrowed in from literature um, at at various points. Yeah, of course, I recycle a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I mean, has has your reading or listening moved in, you know, interesting new directions? Well, I'm realizing that I'm still uh, working the still the the same little bit of land and um, you know and f- and finding like riches and you know possibly the whole world you know in in those in in that little bit of land so I'm still quite happy with with that you know the same themes you know from uh, from the personal and the unconscious to the political which um, which I find are, are linked, you know, I, I don't dissociate the two. I don't dissociate the individual from the societal. Uh, I find one influences the other, which in turn influences the one, and etc. So what I'm trying to say is that you can have one small thing, but in fact it's going to radiate out to, to a bigger reality, you know, and maybe it's a bit pretentious to say that, but I I'm concerned with this reality, you know, and and how I perceive it in one way, how you're going to perceive it in a different way, and where is where's the truth in that, you know? Mm-hmm. And so yes, I I think I have for another thirty or sixty years of work. <laughs> I mean, I assume that you're looking to create a a shape to a record as you're writing things. Is that is that part of it? No, no, I've. Generally, it, it's going to happen on its own accord. Okay. It, it, it will fall into place, and it's like a snapshot. You know, it's like taking a picture, uh-huh. and this is what it is. Okay. You know, and it, it will speak for itself of that era, of that time. But uh, another very big source of inspiration is m- my dreams. That is like infinite amount of ideas and wild associations of ideas and and symbolic uh, meanings, and, and it's great. It's, 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 it's strangely, strangely, um, strangely great. <laughs> um, do you have any idea of, um, 
and I, this is to both of you, of what, where you go next. We're Lumina. going to Boston on Monday. <laughs> so I'm quite happy on this journey, on the Stereolab journey. So, um, but I, I'm not, I don't control it. And I feel Tim controls it more than I do. Mm. So I'm, I'm happy as long as the songs will keep arriving, I guess I will keep on writing lyrics for them and singing them. Excellent. Well, thanks very much to both of you. It was really great to get a chance to talk to you. Thanks. Thank you.